Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Naz and today we will be discussing about dengue fever. So dengue virus is a flavi virus which is an RNA virus. There are four serotypes of dengue virus. Principal vector is mosquito. Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus. Mostly Aedes aegypti. And Aedes aegypti also causes yellow fever. Uh, these mosquitoes breed in stagnant water. It is the most common arthropod bi born viral infection in human. The incubation period is 2 to 7 days following a mosquito bite. Homotypic immunity after infection with one of the serotypes is lifelong. And heterotypic immunity against the other serotypes lasts only a few months after infection. The clinical features include the prodromal illness which starts from malaise and headaches for two days it is followed by fever and the fever is always high grade that is 40 degrees celsius or 104 degree fahrenheit so it's always high grade fever also called bone breaking fever because it is associated with generalized body aches and pain on eye movements even uh, it is also associated with arthralgias that is pain in joint and headache lacrimation, nausea, vomiting, relative bradycardia and lymphadenopathy are also there. Fever is continuous fever for 7 to 8 days. It is also called as saddleback fever that is there with a break on 4th and 5th day and then recrudescence. Critical phase is the period 3 to 7 days after the onset of period. It is this period during which the signs of dengue hemorrhagic fever or dengue shock syndrome can occur. Dengue hemorrhagic fever is one of the complications of dengue virus fever and it is a severe form of dengue fever. It is believed to be the result of two or more sequential infections with different dengue serotypes. So what are the clinical features? It may have low platelet count, hemorrhage, that means GI bleeding, cerebrovascular bleeding, bleeding from skin or epistaxis. It occurs due to capillary leak, endothelial dysfunction and platelet dysfunction. Hypotension may occur in, and uh, this may be associated with tachycardia and raised hematocrit. Raised hematocrit is an important point of dengue hemorrhagic fever. Circulatory failure also occur which may lead to third spacing so cause pleural effusion, ascites, hypoalbuminemia and acute respiratory distress syndrome. Other than dengue hemorrhagic fever, some complications of dengue fever may include disseminated intravascular coagulation, dengue shock syndrome, hepatitis which may result in increased level of hepatic enzymes ALT and AST. Cerebral hemorrhage can occur in cephalitis, cranial nerve palsies, myocarditis and rhabdomyolysis. Investigations to diagnose the condition includes complete blood count which shows leukopenia and thrombocytopenia. Leukopenia is decreased white blood cell count, thrombocytopenia is decreased platelet count. And in leukopenia especially there is a drop in neutrophil count. So neutropenia is very important. Uh, fourfold rise in IgG antibody titers and zero conversion of IgM is the confirmatory test for dengue fever. Also detection of dengue virus RNA by PCR and ELISA to detect NS1 viral antigens are also confirmatory tests. Tourniquet test is a clinical test and it's non-specific. So it can be seen in mild forms of dengue and it indicates capillary fragility and thrombocytopenia. So petechies occurs in the arm when BP cuff is inflated to a point between systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure and left for 5 minutes. So it may result in petechies formation in the arm. Management treatment is symptomatic and it includes analgesics, plenty of fluids and antipyretics. No existing antivirals are effective. Aspirin should be avoided to reduce the risk of bleeding. Volume replacement is very important in dengue patients. Also blood transfusions in the patient with shock. Corticosteroids have not been shown to help. How to prevent the infection? So breeding places like stagnant water should be abolished. And uh, the adult, adult Aedes mosquitoes should be killed by insecticides. 
there is no vaccine because as in first slide i have told you that type a specific immunity is lifelong thank you so much for watching if you liked my video then please do share it subscribe it and um, if you have any query you can ask in the comment section and uh, please subscribe to my channel so i get motivated to make further videos